innovative bands. Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, Emperor, Early Mayhem. I think those bands, well this is just whatever comes to mind, I think those guys are the most innovative. innovative. Um, Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, Emperor, Early Mayhem, well the early black metal scene. Yeah, Dead Congregation are probably my favourite favorite Greek band. I've seen them. Quite good. Favourite Marduk riff. This one. For Belaya. Yeah, that's probably my favourite Marduk riff. <laughs> Black Metal Supergroup, Frost on Drums, Archaeon from 1349 on guitar, Destructor on other guitars, and then uh, on bass, pick a death metal bass player. Because if I were to pick Siderman from 1349, you know, it would just basically just be a 1340, it would just basically be 1349 as my supergroup, so what I would do is I would pick um, probably Linus, who used to play in Obscura. I'll get him playing a fretted bass um, because I know his bass lines will be a lot cooler than just following root notes. Favourite black metal band is 1349. Ideally 200 and above. I can't be bothered listening to mid-tempo black metal bands. I find them really boring. So um, yeah, 190, 190 BPM plus. I think that's when you get the more kind of driving black metal, which is my, my taste. <laughs> Who's going to win? I don't know who's going to win the 2020 election. <laughs> I don't really pay much attention to American politics too much, but I really don't know who's going to win. I think it does matter to play triple eighth notes instead of sixteenth notes. Um, because it depends on the time signature, because if you're playing in, you know, if you're playing in 4-4, four, four, then it makes sense to go, you know, tremolo picking. But if you're playing in, um, if you're playing threes, then it's okay to go one, two, three, four. It depends on the groove of the drum. If the drum is playing in in threes or in triplets, like pssst, then yeah, play in um, play in sextuplets or triplets. On the fifth, you can start on the seventh. You can start on the on the sixth. You can even start on the third, or even the ninth. It really depends on the chord tones and, and what kind of sound you want to bring out from the solo. So, for example, if you want to bring out this, if you want to bring out the third of a note, then you can start on the third. And then when you're playing E, that becomes the root. Learn the notes of the chords, and then find out what harmonies you like, because you might even like them. You might even want the major seven, or if you're playing C, you might want to play that note again, and then it becomes a ninth of E. So it makes sense to learn some theory and listen out to the chords a bit more than worry about what note you start on. And a dark chord progression. Um, there's one from the ending of the Oreshkigal EP at the end of Ouroboros, which is... That one, and there's a, um, a section from Iliashram, which is a Domitorum song, and that's played. Ah, uh, yeah, there are some other dark chord progressions, but I can't show you them yet because that. 
but the new Arashikago EP is not released yet and you're not getting any spoilers.